Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for a little lesson dealing with multiple transformations. And so previously, we've been working on translation, rotation, reflection, and now we're going to do multiple of them in a row. And so that's why it's called multiple transformations. Uh, you're going to do one transformation, and then you'll do another one, and sometimes you'll do a third one. Uh, and so we're going to get used to that. So let's jump to number six as our first example. Uh, this has you rotating your shape 90 degrees clockwise and then reflect over x equals 2. Um, you may notice I have a little picture here. This is what it looks, looks like when I take my paper and I rotate it 90 degrees clockwise about the origin. Remember, it's, we're going to do about the origin. Uh, the origin. Uh, we're just going to always assume it's around the origin. And when I do that, my paper looks like this. And so, but, oh, okay, I can rotate my shape. If I pretend this is y and this is x, uh, let's see, my p is just at negative 1, 4. My e is at 1, 2. And so I can turn my paper back so it looks like this again. And I can go to negative 1, 4. There's where p is going to be. And I can go to 2, 1. And there's e. And I see a is looking like at 4, 4. So I go 4. Oh, sorry for my origin. 4, 4. And I could put my point. And there's my a prime. Awesome. So I got my rotation done here. Uh, what I'd like for you to do, if you happen to have another color or another writing utensil, see if you can switch, because that'll help show like the different steps in the process. Because now what we need to do is reflect over x equals 2. First step in doing the correct reflection is drawing the correct line that you're reflecting over. So go ahead and see if you can draw x equals 2. Hopefully you drew your line here, because that's where x equals two. That's what x equals two is. Y equals two is this way. X equals two is this way. Uh, remember, if it's x equals a number, it's a vertical line. And so I'm going to reflect over this line. Um, well, a is just two to the right, so I'm going to go to the left. I'm going to put a, and not am I only going to put a prime. I'm going to put a double prime because I moved it twice. I did two transformations with it. Uh, and then P here is 3 to the left, so I'm going to go 3 to the right. And that's where P double prime is. And then E down here is on the line, so it's not going anywhere. So I got E double prime. Now I can connect up my vertices. And I have transformed my shape twice. I've done multiple transformations. So that's what's going on uh, with this assignment. A lot of these are just, you know, you do a couple of transformations. I do want you to draw each of them as you go through the process. Uh, and you should draw them in the order listed. Don't just, like, take a different order. Uh, do what it says. And so uh, we're going to do one more. And this is an example that has three transformations. So this is number 12. So jump to that one and pause the video and see if you can complete all three transformations. Did you try it? Did you, did you work your way through? Okay, let's go through the process of doing this. Uh, when you start with a 90 degrees clockwise rotation, let's see, it's gonna put P here, and L just down to from there. Um, y is gonna end up over here. And then I is gonna be here. Oh, sorry, put that there, there's I prime. Oh, that last line was ungood. All right, uh, there we go. So we got a lovely transformation here. That's a 90 degree clockwise rotation. And now when you reflect over y equals 0, well, if it was y equals 3, it'd be like this. If it was y equals negative 1, it'd be down here. y equals 0 is in the middle. We call this also just the x-axis. And so be aware of that. Uh, it's, you know, kind of trying to trick you a little bit. But let's switch colors. Let's switch to red. So we're going to reflect over my x-axis. Y was one below, so Y is one above. P was two below, so P is two above. And I'm going to do double prime here. I was three below, so I go three above. And then L was four below, and go four above. Gives me that. Oh, sorry, not three, not triple prime. Not triple prime, just double prime. Okay, uh, so now I got my shape here now. Boop, 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 ta-da. And now I need to finish up with translating four units to the right. Uh, let's do green. Green is a good color to finish up. Uh, four units to the right. So let's take everything, move it right. Four, one, two, three, four. 
And there's my L. Triple prime. P. Triple prime. C. W. And not W. Only Y. Triple prime. And then I ends up here. I. Triple prime. And now I got my shape here. Ta-da! Hopefully yours looks like this when you finish. But that's... That's it. That's the idea is you're going to draw the transformations in the, in the order listed and you just draw your shape and you get used to this because what's going to happen is in our future lessons, you need to be able to take some ending shape or some image and it, it's not going to have all this. It's just going to have, all right, here's what it was at the end and at the start and you need to figure out what the transformations were. And you have to be able to think in multiple transformations in a row. And so that's what uh, this is getting you ready for. Uh, so get used to doing these multiple transformations so you can be able to identify them later on uh, when we're trying to prove two shapes are congruent. So good luck. May the force be with you.